It is 11, 16 a.m. I'm at the bus stop. And the bus is supposed to be here at, I believe, 8 or 9 after. I have a problem with them coming late. I go to work every day and that's a big, big problem. So I have to get them like two hours early just so I can catch the bus ride. Right. And it's very hard getting to the buses and the bus stop. I have a bus stop 12A right across from me, but that makes me late on the time. So I decided to take another bus, which is bus two, which is about a mile and a half away from where I live. It's a pain to go through that then work eight hours and then have to walk home. It's just a struggle. And the bus um, stop is too far apart for a lot of other bus stops. Some of the routes that I go to, it's like sometimes it's a mile out walk. Where I live, I'm like, you know, the closest fixed route bus stop is up about a three or four mile trip. I can't do it. And I can't afford cabs. My oldest son has asthma. He can't walk but so fast. He has a heart monitor, so we try to get to the bus stops the quickest we can and to the closest we can, but it's difficult. I think they should go later. They should run at least to 11, 30, 12 at night. For these are people that need to go to work and are dishwashers and the last one to leave when the restaurant closes. I mean, they're the ones that the Greensboro is hurt. I know after a certain time, it runs every hour, um, which is an inconvenience uh, for a lot of us trying to get somewhere. It can be truly time for some. So um, you're lying an hour or you have to get to work and it's in that in-between hour which means it takes away from their family. You have to pay people to come get you and take you home. And you know, it's not really worth going to work if you don't make a whole lot of money. But anyway, my grievance with the bus is mainly with me. The lack of access to the bus in certain areas. There's a lot of activities that I'd like to take him to. Um, a certain library so I have bus lines, bus line to take him to these events and they're very educational. They need to have seating at the bus stop. And also uh, covering and lighting. For rain, snow, and I think lighting is good too for a bus stop because it's dark at night. The system has to improve. It has improved since I've been here, but it's way behind. Should add more service and be more compliant to what our needs are instead of what the city council says. At the end of the day, if y'all can help with these busters, it can help a lot of these families. It's really people that really need GTA, being able to get there and get around on time and as quick and as cool as possible.